Hello, hello, everybody. Uh, Scott X1307 back in front of the camera uh, for a special occasion. Uh, celebrate uh, Tim Morant's 200 plus subs. Uh, congratulations, Tim. Uh, really, uh, I thought you were about double that, if not more. Uh, definitely deserve a lot more subs. Uh, put out a lot of great videos. A lot of great information on the uh, titles that you collect. Um, recently did a video uh, talking about the character Concrete from Dark Horse Comics and Paul Chadwick. Um, great video, uh, great character. <clears throat> uh, Tim is uh, just an all-around great guy. We've traded some books back and forth, done some hangouts on uh, uh, Google and YouTube. Uh, lots of fun to talk to. Uh, so congratulations on the subs uh, he has uh, put together a little contest and uh, <laughs> he has one one well two requirements for the contest make a video and the second one is show off talk about your favorite book um, I can't pick a single favorite uh, there are so many uh, so many books out there uh, comic books um, graphic novels that are just amazing um, it's just I can't narrow anything down to just one single favorite um, but I did pick one uh, it's trade paperback and uh, this is definitely one of my all-time favorites uh, for a couple of different reasons uh, one it has one some of the best writing comics has ever seen uh, some great great art throughout and uh, two it also came from my mom um, in the 90s when I was a teenager collecting books um, she got into collecting uh, a series that is uh, you know everybody knows and it's Sandman um, she had a bunch of single issues and she gave them all to me a few years ago uh, and she had picked up three three trade paperbacks back in the day um, I think this is the, the very first volume yeah preludes and nocturnes and uh, I'm not sure what this is like the fourth volume or fifth volume something like that um, covers uh, issues 21 to 28, the Seasons of Mist, and then the volume after that's Game of You. Any of those are great. Any of the Sandman books, uh, single issues, trades, can't go wrong. It's one that uh, I would definitely recommend to anyone who's wanting to venture into comics, uh, even for the first time, uh, especially anyone who thinks that comics are just all about superheroes and uh, crime fighting, things like that. Um, the one I picked is Seasons of Mist, or Season of Mist. Um, I remember reading this when I was a teenager, and even then, you know, I, I've always kind of read, um, you know, above my level, but even then, a lot of the stuff in here I didn't get. I reread this a few years ago, and I hope I can remember enough of it to explain some things. But, um, Man, when, when you when you read this and you kind of get all or most of the stuff on the different levels that uh, Neil Gaiman writes on, um, I mean, it kind of blows your mind. <clears throat> this is uh, the first time that I realized that uh, comics could be put up there with any work of literature, um, any of the classics, and I think... Uh, this is a series that would definitely hold up with, with that. You could put it up with Great Gatsby or Lord of the Rings or um, anything like that. Anything considered classic literature. Um, most of uh, most of the run of Sandman, I think, it can, could be included in there. Um, and like I said, it also came from my mom, so it's got a lot of sentimental, sentimental value to me. Um, it's a book that uh, I definitely will keep with me hopefully forever <clears throat> um, 
in this volume, uh, Sandman is, uh, it's what they're called, uh, the Endless Ones. Uh, there's Sandman, he is a uh, dream. They're basically like aspects of um, reality or aspects of the universe. Um, uh, death, uh, which is represented by uh, like a teenage goth girl, if you remember that from the 90s. Uh, delirium. Um, uh, let's see if I, can, I can't remember the names of all the others, but they're, they're aspects like chaos and order, things like that. Um, and they're all, you know, the endless family. They're all, you know, brothers and sisters. <clears throat> In this book, it starts off with uh, the endless ones gathering in um, in uh, Dream and Sandman's uh, home. And uh, his realm, of course, is the dreaming. Uh, and that's where everybody goes when they go to sleep. And they have dreams and nightmares. And uh, all the endless ones gather. And... Um, Delirium ends up uh, ridiculing Dream for the way he treated an ex-lover. Um, he he had her banished to hell, and uh, he be, he starts thinking about you know what he did and um, realizes that that uh, the punishment that he gave this woman is is completely wrong. And it uh, starts him on a path to go to hell um, to free her. And uh, it's a really great story. Lots of existential things, uh, you know, meaning of life, uh, things like that. The, uh, the stuff he has to go through um, to, to get into hell and the talks that he has with, uh, with Lucifer really really great stuff um, at one point there's a there is a gathering of deities from different cultures from around the world uh, uh, you know Greek and Norse gods um, some Japanese uh, uh, deities uh, there are angels to represent uh, heaven um, Egyptian gods they're representatives from the the Fae, the fairy kingdom, all kinds of things like that. And basically, uh, basically they're all petitioning. When Sandman goes to hell, he ends up um, he's kind of tricked by uh, Lucifer. Lucifer gives up the kingdom of hell. He says he's tired of it, and he gives the keys to the gates of hell to Dream. And uh, the representatives from these other uh, deities these other kingdoms uh, all come to him to petition for the key to the gates of hell so that they can take it over um, he ends up giving the key to the two angels and then they are kind of banished to hell and uh, have to take over he does end up freeing his lover or his ex-lover um, and uh, you know he apologizes she kind of forgives him but he ends up uh, getting her reincarnated into a new human baby and um, gives her the gift of being able to enter and leave the, the dream realm at will. So uh, I, it, it's, it's really good. I, it's been a while since I've read it. I don't remember a lot of the details. I need to go back and read it. I've read it about three or four times. But uh, if, you, if you like really deep, thoughtful stories... Um, this is definitely, definitely going to hit that mark. Uh, a lot of great artists. Um, Kelly Jones does a good bit of the art. And, uh, Kelly Jones did a lot of art on Batman, uh, but he does some really good stuff here. Uh, it's got... This is also the introduction of um, there are two uh, couple of uh, kids in here. They end up becoming uh, being the Dead Boy Detectives. This is the introduction of them as well. Um, and that chapter is art by Matt Wagner, Grendel fame. A little bit, a little bit different than his Grendel stuff, but you can still see it's definitely Matt Wagner.
find some really good pages here. Um, this uh, yeah, this boy is is kind of tortured by the other kids in school. It's uh, really kind of bad. Um, and then there is art. I believe this is it here by uh, P. Craig Russell. And here's a page with the angels and some of the other deities here. Um, this is it's just it's one of those stories that just kind of hit me in a way that, uh, like I said, it, it it did not feel reading it even though there are the pictures to go along with the story it didn't feel like a comic book it's definitely not superhero stuff um it's it's really deep um, really thoughtful um, there's uh the egyptian i guess bastet There's the woman that, uh, that was his ex-lover. He condemned to hell. And, uh, uh, the fairy and the, the the fairy kingdom actually end up leaving. They give him this fairy woman as like a gift, like a, a new a new bride. Um, It's kind of their way of trying to bribe him, but uh, the and the ending is really cool because it ends. Here it ends with uh, after he frees the woman from hell. You see, she is reborn. And uh, there he says, "You'll always be welcome in the dreaming, whatever body you wear." name was Nada and then the other it, it's kind of like two endings the other ending is um, <laughs> ends with Lucifer on a beach watching the sunrise it's kind of free from the chains of hell and seems like he's just gonna cut you know enjoy the world They, 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 the way they play Lucifer is it's not like evil. He was just kind of misunderstood. Just kind of neat and kind of, kind of unique, I believe. And then it ends with uh, the second ending is uh, these, these two angels that have taken over hell. And one of them starts to institute a new regiment of torture for the denizens of hell. Um, so that they can be uh, kind of... Uh, to help repent for their sins in life and all and of course the other angel kind of disagrees it's weird because the was it Remyo and do do me all or something like that and it's weird because uh, the one ends up becoming <laughs> <clears throat> only becoming, you know, more, more like a demon starts to, you know, it institutes this new regiment of torture. Starts to enjoy seeing the, the souls in hell tortured. Uh, it's it's kind of horrible. It's kind of a, uh, you know, a take on that. Uh, you know, power corrupts. And, uh, there's another one of the endless. This is um, God. What is his name? Yeah, I gotta do the video and go completely blank. But it's, um, he carries around this book. He's chained to this book, and the book just, it's, I think he's fate. Um, it, it, it just lists everything. It's like the whole history, past, present, future is written in this book. 
and uh, it's it's his duty to to oversee it and to carry the book around. Um, like I said it's uh, it's also got this cool introduction by Harlan Ellison. Uh, it's a you know big sci-fi writer. And always like the uh, the ends of these books with the biography page and these old uh, vintage-looking pictures. They're kind of uh, touched up. Sandman is a great series. Again, um, it's not superhero stuff, although from time to time they do have some of the heroes of the DC universe appear in it. Uh, one volume has Martian Manhunter. Uh, Constantine shows up some because he deals with supernatural stuff. Uh, I believe Swamp Thing has been in a few issues. But uh, mainly revolves around the Endless Ones. And here are... Here are the Endless Ones. And like I said, they uh, they represent different aspects of um, the universe of reality. Um, delirium went by another name at first, and there's uh, some kind of tragic event, and it's they allude to it. They don't ever really say what it actually is. Um, at least not in the issues that I've read. There are still a few issues I need to collect and read. But uh, something happened, and it changed her, changed her into this um, character. And she, the way she speaks, is um, it's very odd. It's almost, you know, it's almost like she's on acid or some kind of drug, you know. Um, but it's the way she sees things is a little bit different than everyone else. Um, Desire is another one. And of course, Desire is this female character at least here um, you can see uh, and he's really close with uh, his sister death <clears throat> they have a lot of interactions and like I said it's just some really cool art throughout uh, Mike uh, Mike my Dringenberg, Malcolm Jones III, Dick Giordano, George Pratt, P. Craig Russell, Kelly Jones, they all do art in this. And, uh, <clears throat> it's definitely one I recommend anyone who hasn't read uh, any Sandman before, you should pick it up. Um, there's another volume, I think it's Dream, Dream Country, that's the one that contains the, uh, uh, the story about the cats, um, the cat's dream. And uh, that is one of my all-time favorite single issues. Um, Howard Mouse has talked about that. Um, you know, the, the world way back in the past, you know, ancient times, the world was actually controlled by cats and humans were like uh, uh, playthings and mice to them. You know, they were like pets. Um, cats were really big. And uh, the human one day had a dream that uh, they took over from the cats and in you know Sandman came to them and said if they could have a thousand people dream the same dream that um, the world would be changed and uh, you know we're here and we're in charge so apparently a thousand humans had that dream and this in that story uh, there's a cat is going around telling cats around the world about the true past and uh, cat makes the same deal with Sandman uh, he tells the cat if you can get a thousand other cats to dream the same dream that uh, changed the world again and it ends with uh, this little kitten there asleep and uh, it's kind of dreaming and some people are talking about it and they're like it's probably dreaming about chasing mice but it's actually dreaming that dream that cats take over the world again um, some really really good stuff so uh, yeah <coughs> um, don't know what else to say about Sandman um, 
Like I said, it's been a while since I've read it. Sorry, I don't uh, don't remember all the details of the story, but it does involve. Uh, like I said, it's it, there's a meeting of uh, the endless ones. Uh, Dream calls a meeting, and they're discussing different things. But it ends up revolving around him banishing this woman, his ex-lover, to hell, and then his uh, his trek to free her from hell. Then he is uh, he's given the key to the gates of hell by Lucifer. Lucifer leaves, and then the other deities uh, from different cultures around the world are petitioning Sandman uh, for the key, offering him different things. Uh, here's Odin in the DC universe, and uh, the part of the multiverse that Odin resides over is uh, like the Golden Age Sandman and he offers to give uh, Dream uh, it's there's a it's a small aspect of him that is put into that character the Golden Age Sandman and he offers to give Dream that to free that aspect from his reality and give it back to him as you know in trade for the key to hell um, it's different things like that really cool I can't recommend it enough so go pick up some Sandman, any volume, but this is, <clears throat> I think, one of the best. Uh, Dream Country is uh, another really good volume, and uh, Preludes, Nocturnes, Game of You, those are the other two that I have and have read. So go pick up some Sandman. I'm sure most everybody's read this, but if you're new, uh, or if you know somebody who's looking, who's interested in comics, and... Uh, doesn't really know what to read not very keen on superhero stuff if they like any kind of fantasy or um, even horror sci-fi stuff they should like Sandman so uh, I usually recommend it to people if, if I'm asked uh, you know what to read depending on the person you know so that's it um, so thanks again Tim for the contest congratulations on all the subs um, hopefully you'll be double that uh, in the next few months. Uh, definitely deserve more. Like I said uh, everybody knows Tim. He's a great guy. Um, and uh, can't wait till we do another hangout or a movie viewing or something. So uh, I'll leave a link to his channel below, of course. And uh, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, congrats again, Tim. Uh, hope that uh, it's kind of boring, but hope that will do. Everybody take care, and uh, till next time, later.